Hi, I'm James, and today we're talking about our free plugin, Quick Chromatic Aberration. We're talking about what is chromatic aberration, how to do it manually inside After Effects, and how you can do it in one click with our free plugin, Quick Chromatic Aberration. Chromatic aberration is a great way to remove the pixel perfect nature of computer graphics. As the name implies, it's an imperfection that happens when something is filmed through a lens. As you probably know, uh, motion graphics are not filmed through a lens, we create them on the computer and so they are pixel perfect and a trend these days is to steer away from this sterile and clinical nature of pixel perfect graphics by jazzing them up, making them look more homely with film grain, chromatic aberration, lens distortion, lens aberrations dust on the lens, all these things to make the, just to make the image look more interesting. Annoyingly, inside of After Effects, to add chromatic aberration is a bit of a process. Uh, you Firstly, you want to start with a pre-comp, and you duplicate that pre-comp twice, so you've got three copies. Then you want to solo each color channel on the three copies, so you've got red channel, green channel, blue channel, soloed, and then you set the blend mode to screen, and that will essentially be back where you started with. Um, and then you apply your transform offset. I usually do a offset on the X and Y of half a pixel. This is a good amount because it's not too obvious, but it is noticeable. Uh, you don't want to do too much of a good thing. And uh, if you've done that, or if you've done a scale or a rotation, you'll probably notice a fringe at the edge of the screen. And to remove that, you'll want to apply either Repertile or Motion Tile to mirror the edges and or expand the edges and uh, remove that fringe. And there you've got your chromatic aberration. Now that was A, a bit of a process, a waste of time, and B, it's computationally wasteful. So you can get that same effect by literally dragging quick chromatic aberration and applying it to your to an adjustment layer. You don't need a pre-comp. And um, you're done. By At its default, it adds half a pixel of chromatic aberration, the perfect amount, although you can change that. The edges are all automatically tiled for you and uh, you can adjust the channels that you want to shift. So instead of having that red blue chromatic aberration look, if you shift the channels, uh, you'll get a green and magenta look, or I forget what the other look is, but there's there's three, you have an option. Um, different lenses have different types of chromatic aberration. Uh, I, I normally just apply half a pixel to the entire image just by doing a, a transform. However, Different lenses have different uh, types of aberration. So for example, a typical lens might have more aberration on the edges. To emulate that, we have the scale. The anchor point is set to the middle of the screen and then if you scale the one channel down and one channel up, you'll get no chromatic aberration in the dead center, but all the chromatic aberration the further distance from the center. Rotation we have as well, but that's um, more of a creative look. That doesn't really happen in, in lenses, um, or not any lenses that I'm aware of. And we also have a blur as well. So you can blur channels to sort of soften one or the other, and that creates a different kind of aberration. The first version of Quick Chromatic Aberration was all done on the CPU, but with the recent advancements in GPU hardware recently, uh, we decided to put it onto the GPU, so now it's faster. And just the, the nature of GPU hardware, we get um, infinite edge mirroring for essentially free. It, it's almost um, the processing time of that is zero, just the way that GPUs work. Whereas with CPUs, um, edge mirroring is actually quite computationally and it's quite resource intensive. So I think this is a plugin that's ideal for the GPU. If you've got a good GPU, it's gonna run really fast. So that's Chromatic Aberration. That's uh, how you can add it manually or you can download our free plugin, QCA, uh, and basically get this effect really easily, really quickly, customize it, style it the way you want it. I hope you have a really productive day and don't send me a support ticket. I'm looking at you, Riley.